In this lesson, you will learn about verbs in the simple present. You know four verbs, be, do, have, and go. These verbs have irregular forms. There is something different about the spelling that you just have to remember. For example, be, she is a student, is is the be verb, do, she does homework, have, she has two cats, and go, he goes to work. In this lesson, we will look at regular verbs in the simple present, how to form them, and how to use them. There are many verbs, wave, study, swim, travel, eat, give, love, buy, and help are just a few of them, but all of them follow the same patterns in the simple present. Let's look at this. Ken goes to school at 8 a.m. He takes his big yellow backpack. He waves to his mother. Ken walks to school. His mother stays home. Here is the verb goes, takes, waves, walks, and stays. These are all verbs in the simple present. Here is the simple present verb chart. We'll just use the verb talk as an example. I talk, you talk, he talks, she talks, it talks, we talk, you talk, and they talk. Notice there are two forms talk and talks. And notice there's an S on the end of the third person singular. There's always an S on the third person singular. Let's read this. Jill has classes all morning. She eats lunch at one. She usually buys lunch in the cafeteria. Sometimes she eats lunch alone, but she often joins some friends for lunch. After lunch, she goes to the library. Look at the verbs for the subject Jill. They all end with S. Has, eats, buys, eats, joins, and goes. Okay, you try. Here is the verb sleep. What form of sleep goes in the blank. Sleeps. Paul sleeps a lot. Here the verb is look. Jason and Evan, that's they. Jason and Evan look at their phones. One more. Give. Mr. Chen, what form of give goes in the blank. Gives. Mr. Chen gives his wife seven pink flowers. Verbs and nouns are different. They have different rules. Let's take a look. So in this sentence, Mr. Chen gives his wife seven pink flowers. Look at this S on gives. This S is for third person singular verb. But look over here, we have an S here on flowers. This S is for a plural noun. We have seven pink flowers. The uses are different, but some of the spelling rules look the same. Let's look. There are spelling changes with S. For many verbs, we just add S like thinks and reads. For some verbs, we add ES, like washes and catches. And for other verbs, we drop the Y and add IES, like carries and flies. Let's take a closer look at these rules. For many verbs, add S. He thinks, 
She reads. She talks. She eats. Add es when a verb ends with s, ch, sh, x, and z. They all have a sh, sh, sh sound on the end. For example, he washes. He catches. He fixes. She kisses. And drop y and add ies when a verb ends with a consonant and a y. For example, he carries, it flies, she worries, and she studies. Let's practice. Look at the verb cry. When we add an s, which spelling rule do we use? Cries. We drop the y and add ies. How about drive? Drives. Just add an s. Clean. Cleans. Also, just add an s. Brush. Look at the ending. Shh. Brushes. Add es because of that sh ending. Dry. Dry ends in a consonant and a Y, so drop the Y at IES. Play. Plays, just add an S. Remember, this is a vowel and a Y, so we just add an S. No need to drop the Y. Mix. Mixes, because of that X ending. How did you do? Okay, let's practice some more. Look at the sentence, she cooks dinner. Think, is the verb form correct? She cooks dinner. Yes, correct. I speak English. Also correct. Tom run fast. Hmm. No, the grammar here is wrong. There is no S. On runs, we need to add an S, Tom runs fast. Pandas eat bamboo. Yes, that's correct. The friends plays tennis. Huh. Nope. This has an extra S. We don't want S on plays because the friends is third person plural. Like they. You listen very well. Yes, that is correct. Remember, watch out for the S endings for the third person singular form in the simple present. Remember the frequency words? Always, usually, often, sometimes, rarely, and never? Put the frequency word between the subject and the verb. Here we have Bob and Kevin. Bob and Kevin are old friends. They eat lunch together on Friday. We put the frequency word right in here. They always eat lunch together on Friday. They eat lunch together on Monday? No. They never eat lunch together on Monday. Put the frequency word before the verb, after the subject. Let's read this. As you listen, notice that every sentence has a subject and a verb. There are lots of S's here because it's third person singular, and there are also some frequency words. Tanner likes to go fishing. He catches trout and cooks it too. At home, he never eats fish when his mother cooks it. However, on camping trips, he often catches fish, cleans it, cooks it, and eats it too. Verbs in the simple present have two forms, like eat, eats, think, thinks, and give, gives. Third person singular ends with an S. He sleeps.
there are some spelling changes when you add the S. Reads, sometimes you just add S. Catches, sometimes you add ES. And flies, sometimes you have to drop that Y and add IES.